how do you think the United States should react to the growing influence of the Taliban in Pakistan? We should support the Pakistani government against the Taliban. They need to rethink their whole policy in the Mideast in general, and they need to get out and find a diplomatic solution. I think we should do whatever we possibly can to shore up the Pakistani government so that this defense can be essentially in their name. The United States can only do so much. Uh, I think we have did more than our part, and we're doing more than our part, and eventually uh, the Pakistani government is going to have to stand up on their own. Is the Pakistani government doing enough to stop the Taliban from advancing? I think that uh, the Pakistani government probably doing as much as they possibly can, but I don't think they have the strength or the force to really stop the Taliban. If you have this problem, you should be doing more to try to, uh, to get rid of it. Lots of countries like Pakistan are in, are in very tough situations where you've got militant groups within their countries that are just as powerful as the governments themselves. I think there always can be more done. I think um, they're probably working within their means, but there always can be more done when you're dealing with um, a terrorist threat. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton described the situation in Pakistan as a mortal threat. Do you agree with that statement? I don't know if I would go as far as mortal threat, but it's something to pay attention to. They do have nuclear weapons. Obviously, the, uh, the Taliban cannot gain access to nuclear weapons no matter what happens. Um, if they were to overthrow the government, that would probably constitute one of the gravest threats to this country um, since the Cold War. I would have to disagree. Um, I don't think it's a mortal situation for the world. It's already a, a dangerous and relatively unstable part of the world. Uh, you know, India certainly has to be concerned. The two countries have almost gone to war how many times and have gone to war uh, uh, since 1948. So uh, there's good cause for alarm there.